After you installed Safe Wallet, open up your browser, Internet Explorer, Firefox or Chrome, I'm going to use Firefox in my example, and look for the Safe Wallet button that's been added. Then let's go to a login page to see what happens. Using Safe Wallet is very easy. The first step you have to ensure you're logged in. If you look at the icon, a grayed out icon means you're logged out of Safe Wallet. You can click this button or Safe Wallet is clever enough to detect login pages automatically and will prompt you to log in. You can use this button or, or the icon button, it does not matter. We're going to click that and you get a pop up to enter your password. If you enter your password, oops, you'll see the icon changes into blue and you're logged in and ready to go. Once you're logged in, getting Safe Wallet to remember passwords is very easy. All you need to do is go to any website for which you normally log in. In this example, I'm using Gmail. Enter your username and password as you normally do and click sign in, exactly like you've always done. And Safe Wallet will detect successful logins automatically for you. I'm going to click yes to save the password. And the next time you visit the site, I'm going to sign out to show you. It's going to automatically fill in my username and password. And all I have to do is click sign in and it signs in automatically for you. That's it. If for some reason Safe Wallet doesn't automatically detect your login, you can add a login manually. All you do again is go to the Safe Wallet menu and click on Add Site Card. Make sure the URL matches the URL for the page you're trying to log in from. Enter your username and password that you normally use to log in. Click OK, and then the next time you visit this page, it will automatically fill in your username and password, and you can sign in and continue working.